break. Hurry, Mr. Bergeron's on. Don't forget the popcorn, Frank. Coming, dear. By the way, that that the, let's talk about cremation for a few minutes because ha, have you found cremation to be an increase, increasingly common mode of yes? Of, do you call it disposition? Of Dispos disposition of disposition. Cremation. Yes. And and is there anything special that that I would have to sign as a living person, or that the next of kin would have to sign, to cause cremation to be allowed versus burial? Yes, it would. The the informant mm -hmm. person giving us the information, yeah. person in charge would have to sign a authorization to cremate. And that's through the crematory. I see, I see. Does that, does that form get signed with the, cre with the crem crematorium or with, with you? With us. With you. Yeah, and we, you we fill out the form. They yeah. ask specifics, uh, date, time of death, place yeah. of death residence, that sort of thing. I see, and then do they deal with the crematorium or do, or do you? We do. I see. And, and is there a crematorium close by? Is there? Uh, we use Rural Crematory in Worcester. Was it's it, on Grove which, Street. Which is right in Worcester. Right I in see. Worcester. Yeah. I see. Yeah. So that's, and, and that has become increasingly common? Very much so. Now, do you have, have you seen, I want to say, arguments among the children or between the parents and the children regarding, oh, uh, I really, Ma, Ma should really be buried, you know? We don't, mm -hmm. This is sacrilegious. Yeah. Is that yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. And, and but if the parents have come in to prearrange, and this is what they wanted, most children will go along with that. They kind of get that. They, they get that right. that's really what my parents want, then okay. But I, but I just wanted to emphasize but, as we're talking that, that that's, that's why it's really handy if you think there might be a difference of opinion between you and your children to write it down ahead of time to make sure that there isn't an argument because right. your children will usually go along with what you say. Exactly. But left to their own devices. Right, right, right. And especially, right, yeah. is, it, is it, how common is it that people will come in um, having, where there hadn't been any, any prearrangement and they're coming in to you and literally, Ma just died and now we're trying to figure out the funeral. Does that yeah. happen 10% of the time, 50% of the time? It's hard to say because yeah. you, so much, so many people now prearrange right. that it's right. almost uncommon for them it's, just to walk in. It's almost unusual. Un right. Very, yeah, unusual. Because I would think that I would think it would be really hard if somebody was just walking in because everybody's kind of distress. Dis yeah, everybody's yeah. distraught because somebody yeah. just died. Yeah, right. So that's kind of less. Yeah. And, and, and as soon as you say, well, what what would you like to do? Are you going to have some kind of a service? What? Well, I, I don't know. Do we have to decide that right now? Well, well we need to. <laughs> well, we need to discuss it. You know. <laughs> right. You know. So, so let's talk about that. So, if, if I'm if I'm coming in and I'm 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 talking to you. Ideally, there has been some prearrangement. Oh no. Let's say that I'm coming in now because I'm prearranging because I've decided I want to get this out of the way, mm -hmm. right? And I've you know and I've and I've been to your funeral home before, so now I want to talk about it. So, mm -hmm. what's tell me how the conversation goes. So they come in, they sit down, and we try to make it as painless as possible. Right, because they're not Chat. in a good mood about this anyway, right? Mm, they're not thinking usually. About, right. They, they're a little hesitant because they, they feel that, oh, geez, you know, it's, <laughs> right. the time must be getting closer that we're really thinking right. about See, this. This is right after they do their will. Right. <laughs> they're depressed anyway, and now they're thinking but, about But it. then they want to lessen the load of the children because the k children don't want to talk about it. Right, right. So you talk about, well, about your family, you know, dynamics, yep. different things, and then you start in with, okay, well, l let's ask some questions. So name, legal names, because there are so many people that go by nicknames yep. versus, yep. or yep. middle names versus first names, so you get names down, addresses, social security, places of birth, um, date of birth, all vital information that's going to be asked on the death certificate. It's going to be on the death certificate. Right. I see. I see. Then you go into families. Who's, who's going to survive you? Um, if you have deceased family members, do you want to name them in an obituary if you're going to do that? So you, then you start to do information about your obituaries. And you almost do a pre-obituary? Yeah. I see. Yeah. I see. And, and then... Usually what we'll say, give them a little worksheet to go home. Tell us about your work life, your schooling, 
this. Yeah. And then, th and, and then you'll have the something that you want to have, have you, that you, said that about you, yeah. a, a little story yeah. for, for your obituary. But that doesn't have to be done right then. And then figure out, do you have cemetery lots? Are you going to have some type of a service, church service, funeral home service? Is it going to be a graveside service? And then get into burial, cremation, or donation. I see. Because there, there are full donations, that um, anatomical donations. There are full donations? Yes. You can just literally donate your body to science? Yes. And somebody will take it? Yes. Yes? Yes. Now, is it, and, and, and by the way, go, just, just going back for a second to organ donations, because you're talking now about full burials, is there a point at which you'd say, ah, I'm too old, they'd never take my body, right? They, it'd be useless, right? Uh, they'll, they'll take anybody as long as it's in good condition. Yes? Yeah. So you should always kind of leave this, leave this open. Yes, if you're, if you're willing to do that. Yeah, it's just. It's, you have to be a special person to right. donate. Right, no, it's funny, because I do, I do a blog site and I was doing this stuff about giving for Christmas yeah. and I realized I want, to, I want to do one that just is kind of like give, the, give a little of yourself, yeah. you know, because <laughs> it's really true. I mean, it's, you're, yeah. you're, you're not using it anymore, right? right? You're not definitely, right. that's one, you're, you're sure of at least that, you're not using it anymore. Yeah. So you go through this kind of list of kind of what the, what the possibilities are. Now, mm -hmm. what, one, of the, one of the possibilities that you talk, or not one of the possibilities, if you're getting buried, you need a grave. You need right? a grave. So, yeah. it, so do most people come in or having already acquired a grave? Uh, most people do have family graves. Uh, some people will say, oh, well, we need to purchase something. Mm -hmm. Well, do you want to pur purchase at a private cemetery? Mm -hmm. Do you want to purchase at city cemeteries? So you, you have to figure this sort of thing out. And, and how does that piece work? Like how, <coughs> excuse me, if, so I, I have died, right? Yep. And there are my remains, and you've been talking to me. How does one get the permission to be able to get, it, get, get into a hole in the cemetery, to get into that grave? Well, uh, well you just call the cemetery. If, if you yeah. haven't purchased a, a grave yet, yeah. Yeah. you'd call the cemetery, set up an appointment for the family, and they can select the graves. Mm -hmm. Some cemeteries, it's just what's next in order. Um, oh. So you don't have... Uh, you know, a, a choice. But some cemeteries you do have, a, have a choice where you can be. I see. But, but some it's just kind of like that's the next grave that's the next available. grave and that's and, and what's available. Are, and, I've seen, and I've seen it that you can do fam, like actually family graves. You yes. can purchase a, a, a plot on, in which several people can mm -hmm. be, can be yep. buried. Yep. And that's, okay. that's what we have. We're going to be buried at Edgel Grove Cemetery in Framingham. So when Regina's parents were, were sick, yep. uh, we had pre-purchased -pur yeah. graves. So we were able to f actually pick out the site. Oh, that's great. That's great. Oh, because <laughs> so Edge Hill is one of those private, one private, of those private cemeteries. One of those great, are, there, yeah. are there still, you know, from your seeing this, are there still new private cemeteries that are being developed or are these typically uh, the historic? Th these are m mostly historic. Right. I think the newest one, and I, I could be wrong on this, it would be um, Paxton Memorial. Oh, there's a, there's a, a uh, private uh, cemetery yeah, out there? Yeah, up in Paxton. Yeah. So part of the planning is figuring out where the grave is going to be. Okay. And then you talked about, obviously, you know, you need to be dealing with the calling hours and the yeah. casket and all of those other issues, right? right? And, and, and what the service is going to be. And by the way, in terms of payments, do you typically pay all of the other players so everything goes through, through you so that you would pay the, for the, the, the priest or the minister or the, the, or the we, we, the, we do yeah. have a, 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 um, a statement of goods and services, yeah. and we, we list everything out for them. Yeah. Those, that portion, if you can pay the entire bill at the morning of the funeral, we yeah. ask you if you can. Yeah. If not, at least these outside expenses, which would be the cemetery, newspaper notices, mm -hmm. death certificates, copies of the death certificates, um, anything that's outside that needs to be paid. That needs to get paid. Right. So the purchase of the, the lots, yep. the, uh, the opening fees. And if I'm, doing a, if, I'm, if I'm doing this kind of pre-planning, do I, let's talk about whether I have the option to pay ahead of time and how mm -hmm. that fits in. Because the, the only time that I typically bump into all of this is I do a lot of, of mass health related planning. Mm -hmm. And part of the asset restructuring that often happens is that people do um, um, prepayments of, of nursing home, or excuse me, of funeral homes 
in order to, to get their assets down so they qualify for mass. Right. So, so what is, tell me what that's about. 